The Jones criteria are a set of guidelines used to diagnose rheumatic fever, a complication of Streptococcus pyogenes infection. The mnemonic Jones piece can help remember these criteria, which are divided into major and minor categories. For major criteria, the mnemonic is Jones. J is for joints involvement. Migratory polyarthritis is typically seen, meaning the arthritis moves from one joint to another. Most commonly affected joints are the large joints of the knees, ankles, elbows, and wrists. O represented by the heart shape for easy remembrance. It represents carditis. This involves inflammation of the heart, which can manifest as myocarditis, endocarditis, or pericarditis. N for subcutaneous nodules, which are painless, firm collections of collagen fibers over bones or tendons, typically found over extensor surfaces like the back of the wrist, outside elbow, and front of the knees. E for erythema marginatum, a distinctive rash that begins as red macules or papules and spreads outward, forming a ring with central clearing. Usually, non-pruritic and more visible on the trunk and proximal extremities, sparing the face. S for Sidenam's chorea, a neurological disorder characterized by rapid, uncoordinated jerking movements, primarily affecting the face, hands, and feet. It is also known as St. Vitus dance. And for minor criteria, the mnemonic is peace. P for previous rheumatic fever or preceding streptococcal infection to support the diagnosis. E for electrocardiogram with PR prolongation, indicating delayed conduction through the AV node. A for arthralgia which is joint pain without actual arthritis, or pain in the joints without the objective signs of inflammation. C for increased CRP and ESR, elevated acute phase reactants such as C-reactive protein and erythrocyte sedimentation rate indicate inflammation. E for elevated temperature. Fever, typically over 38.5 degrees Celsius, indicative of systemic inflammation. For a definitive diagnosis of rheumatic fever according to the Jones criteria, the following combinations are used. Two major criteria, or one major and two minor criteria. Additionally, evidence of a preceding streptococcal infection is required, which can be demonstrated by positive throat culture for group A streptococcus. Rapid streptococcal antigen test. An elevated or rising streptococcal antibody titers. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Stay tuned for our next video.